Hi everybody, and I uh, wanted to show you a little bit about how to use Moodle uh, really quickly in my class. So, first of all, you've got to get to Moodle, which I assume you all know, so we'll save time on that. However, take a look at uh, your home page, and if you look at your home page, what you will see is a bunch of different classes. Find the one that says Conceptual Physics, and then click on that. Okay. What you see here, uh, first of all, if you scroll down a little bit, is you'll see the uh, calendar for the class. Now, of course, there's nothing in there right now because we're about, what, three months away from the actual start of class, so you won't see anything. But later on, you'll see stuff in there, and you can click on it, and you can see it by the week, you can see it by the month. I prefer the agenda, just so you know what's going on. Now, in here is where you're going to see things like due dates, things like what we're going to do during class every day, um, that sort of thing. So we'll see how that works as you go along. Now as you scroll down, you'll see that there's other stuff. There's stuff such as the syllabus, which if you look, if you click on that, what will pop up is the syllabus, the things that I expect you to do. Okay, And I could go through that whole thing, but I don't really need to do that. So let's go back. And what you also see here is some iCal subscription instructions. It shows you how to actually subscribe to this calendar uh, using iCal so that you can see that every day in your one iCal um, application. Then you'll see uh, four different links for stuff of mine that I've created that I've put online. I have a Digo page which has a whole bunch of different links. So let's say you're confused, let's say you don't understand something. On there will be lots of links categorized by uh, what we call tags. And so you might look in the physics tag. Okay, I've got 72 things that have been bookmarked in physics. Okay, um, so let, for example, this fun science, this YouTube video about light. Okay, uh, there's also other things, um, other tags. Like let's say we're learning about motion. Well, you look for the motion one, which what you can also do is Command F and type in motion and look it highlights it for you. And so if you're learning about motion and, oh look, there's one about the hammer versus the feather on the moon. I can look at that and there's a YouTube video and there's an explanation of the hammer and the feather on the moon. Okay, So that's something that you can do as well. That might help you out. Also there is Mr. Web Online, which is just sort of my own little web page. Um, talks about my research before and, and other stuff that I do online. Uh, not that impressive, but I think it's pretty cool. Um, then also I have a monthly podcast, um, and that monthly podcast talks about the events of the month in the night sky. It talks about uh, the planets that you can see like that. It also talks about the constellations that you can see, and that's just something off to the side that I hope you would sign up for. Okay. And then lastly I have a Twitter feed. Um, it's really mostly astronomy stuff and some science stuff, stuff that I think you might uh, actually be interested in. And that's what you see there, like the meteor shower and astronomy picture of the day. Um, actually, looks like it's a lot of astronomy stuff, but um, also anything that I find is in there. And that's the basics for Moodle, at least for the topic outline here, uh, or the course overview. Now what you'll see in here, which I will be building later, is stuff about each unit. In here is going to be different things about the unit, and this is going to be basically where we start every single day in class.